Hey guys, this is Dan with the Third Eye Cyborg. We're going to dive into some Python. I picked Python to be the starting language for my series because it is a very fun beginner language. It is a general purpose language, so you can do a lot with it. And um, I have a lot of fun with Python. I think that you will. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so I'm going to start by opening up a Medium article that I wrote named A Brief History of the Python Programming Language. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to read it yourself. I'm going to use it kind of outline this video and to keep myself on track. But let's go ahead and jump in. So Python was actually conceived in the late 1980s. It was then implemented in 1989 by Judo von Rossum. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Um, now, Judah von Rossum was often referred to the Benevolent Dictator for Life, or BDFL, in a lot of Python circles. He's also the principal author of the Python programming language. Now, he recently stepped down as of July 12, uh, 2018. Fun fact about Python, Python is actually named after Monty Python's Flying Circus. Now, Python is a general purpose language. It's really easy to begin with and it's really good for scientific computation. It's gained a lot of traction in those communities, and it has become very popular. Now, a lot of this part of the article goes into the versions and how uh, Python got to what it is today. We're gonna skip over a lot of those technicalities. You're welcome to read them yourself, but I want to uh, point out one version that is very important when Python went from version 2 to version 3 it was not backwards compatible, so nothing you wrote in 2 would run on 3. Um, other than that, the versioning has just slowly built Python to what it is today. Um, it's really interesting to read about still, so I recommend reading it. But we're going to jump into the most important part of this article. And um, this is kind of the backbone of Python as well, is the Zen of Python. Now, the Zen of Python is 19 guiding principles structured for the Python language. It's meant as to help programmers write computer programs that influence the design of the Python programming language. So it was introduced by Tim Peters, a software engineer, and he posted it in a Python mailing list in 1999. Now, he originally left the 20th principle for Van Rossum to fill in, but it was never filled in. This is also referred to as PEP20. Now, I'm going to go over this list. It's just important to know that this kind of is the building blocks of Python, and it really helps to, to constantly be going back with your code to this list to make sure that it follows Pythonic way of thinking, and it really, really helps you and everybody else trying to read your code. So it starts off with, beautiful is better than ugly, Explicit is better than implicit. Simple is better than complex. Complex is better than complicated. Flat is better than nested. Sparse is better than dense. Readability counts. Special cases aren't special enough to break the rules. Although practicality beats purity, errors should never be passed silently, unless explicitly silenced. In the face of ambiguity, refuse the temptation to guess. There should be one, and preferably only one, obvious way to do it. Although that way might not be obvious unless you're Dutch. Now is better than never, although never is often better than right now. If implementation is hard to explain, it's a bad idea. If the implementation is easy to explain, it may be a good idea. Namespaces are one honking great idea. Let's do more of those. So this kind of structures Python in a way where it's really easy to read and where pretty code matters and you want it to look nice just as well as you want it to function. So I recommend studying these, reading these, and we're going to use them later on in our projects and our other studies. So it's very important that you know these. Thank you.
Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So I will be rolling out more like actual coding videos here soon. I think it is important to learn the foundations and the origins first. So this was an incredibly important video, but we are actually gonna be diving into learning the Python language here soon and these next videos, so stay tuned.